Songbird is an extremely precise parametric multi-scale fretboard generator for Rhino. You can use it to generate fanned fretboards for guitars, mandolins, bass guitars, or whatever instrument you want to cook up. To download Songbird, head over to the Food for Rhino website, search for Songbird to find the plugins page. Make sure you are logged into your account and the download button should be active. On the plugins page, you will find information about the functionality, the parameters, and the Rhino command that it exposes. And for now, it's a single command called fretboard. So let's download. Head over to your download location. Make sure you unblock the file. And then double click to go through the installation process. Super quick. Now let's give it a go. Start Rhino. And if the installation was successful, the command should be available via autocomplete. Let's type fretboard. As you can see, it's available here via autocomplete. Uh, so let's generate our first fretboard. There are defaults saved in. So I'm going to go ahead with an instrument with six strings, 24 frets, 645 lost string scale. I'm using millimeters as units, but you can use whatever units you're comfortable with. Um, 620 mil for the first string scale. The perpendicular fret distance, 0.75. This starts at the nut, so 0 will be a perpendicular nut, and 1 will be a perpendicular bridge. Let's go ahead with 0.75. Uh, 42 mil at the nut, and 52 at the bridge. You've got all of the overhangs as parameters, so both at the nut and the bridge, top and bottom, so four parameters for each. Just gonna go ahead with the defaults. You're gonna be asked for a location for placement. You can simply press enter or spacebar to place the fretboard in the origin, or just pick a location yourself. I'm gonna zoom in here, so this is our first fretboard with Songbird. The 12th fret, so the middle of the scale is um, marked in a different color. All the objects are named uh, by their uh, function, so fret 4. So you can select um, objects specifically using the cell name command. So we've got the frets here, strings, overhang, nut, etc. Okay, so let's try another one. 24 frets. I'm gonna enlarge the scale of the lost string 660 millimeters let's say 630 for the first string let's go ahead with a zero uh, perpendicular fret distance so a perpendicular nut we'll need to increase this let's say 52 mil and maybe 70 mil for the bridge I'm gonna keep the overhangs as defaults place it and we're done. Let's try a perpendicular bridge. Maybe a four string instrument, 22 frets, um, 600, maybe 580. So perpendicular fret distance one, this should be the bridge perpendicular. I'm gonna keep uh, everything else as default, place it. All right, so you get the hang of it. Um, another interesting thing I just want to show you quickly. Let's say you will want to create a single scale instrument. So for example, if you enter 620 in this case and another 620 here, basically you will have a single scale instrument. So if both last uh, string and first string have the same scale length, you will end up with a single, uh, single scale instrument. All right, this is it. So thank you for watching. As you can see, the functionality is pretty straightforward. Just type fretboard, generate your fretboards. The plugin will always be free and I will follow up in the near future with a Grasshopper plugin so you can actually generate everything um, interactively and uh, just use sliders to control all the parameters. That's gonna be available shortly. So thank you for watching. I hope you have fun uh, using uh, Songbird. If you have any comments, just write them in the comment boxes. Thanks again.